Consider the sequence a sub one equals negative two and a sub n equals negative seven times a sub n minus one plus five. We want to determine the following terms. a sub one through a sub four. a sub one is given as negative two and now we'll determine a sub two. When determining a sub two, n is equal to two, which indicates a sub two is equal to negative seven times a sub n minus one is two minus one, which is one, giving us negative seven times a sub one plus five, which is negative seven times negative two plus five, which is 14 plus five, which is equal to 19. And now we'll determine a sub three, when determining a sub three, notice n is equal to three. This gives us negative seven times a sub three minus one is two, giving us negative seven times a sub two plus five, which is equal to negative seven times a sub two is 19 plus five, which is equal to negative 133 plus five, which is equal to negative 128. And now we'll determine a sub four, when determining a sub four, notice n is equal to four. This gives us negative seven times a sub three, since n minus one is four minus one or three, and then plus five, which is negative seven times negative 128 plus five. Negative seven times negative 128 is equal to 896. 896 plus five is equal to 901. Next, we're asked to find a recursive formula for the sequence negative 5, 40, negative 275, 1930, and so on. What just happens if we try to use the same recursive relation as above, it happens to work. Notice 40 is equal to negative 7 times negative 5 plus 5. Negative 275 is equal to negative 7 times 40 plus 5, and so on. So while we have a different sequence, the recurrence relation is the same, meaning a sub n is equal to negative seven times a sub n minus one plus five, but now the initial condition is a sub one equals negative five. And let's just verify this actually works. a sub two is equal to negative seven times a sub one plus five, which is equal to negative seven times negative five plus five, which is 35 plus five, which is 40. That's correct. Let's just check one more. A sub three is equal to negative seven times a sub two plus five, which is equal to negative seven times a sub two is 40 plus five, which is equal to negative 280 plus five, which is negative 275. So this is why it's so important to always give the initial condition when giving a recursive definition of a function. Here we have two examples of different sequences with the same recurrence relation, but the reason they're different is because the initial conditions are different. I hope you found this helpful.